December 5th, 2023. Quick safari update from Card Hunter. Chasing breaks, looking for the big cards. So last night, um, got into two breaks. One was Donruss football, six box break, Indianapolis Colts chasing Anthony Richardson. $85 for the spot. Um, also, same breaker, decided to chase some chrome baseball. Now, I'll be honest, I went back and forth if I should do chrome update or should I go after um, Bowman draft next week. Uh, this breaker had a thing where if you get into this break, you get access to his draft break next week, which is kind of why it incentivized me. I decided to go after the Yankees. Eey, they're such an expensive team. Um, but also big big risk, big risk, big reward type of thing. So again, when I go after these safaris, I typically am not doing hit and miss. I'm not hit and go and hit, get a break and get out. Um, I did last night do really well on the Donruss uh, football, hit a uh, autograph of Anthony Richardson, which is who I was chasing, number to 99. It is an ugly sticker autograph, but hey, it is a rookie autograph, Anthony Richardson. That will come in and I will definitely process that for grading. I, I don't care what grades a nine. 9 or 10, that card will go up to grading and will be resold probably in the spring, summertime. On the baseball, um, Breakers Delight, love the product. Um, wish I had more base cards, to be honest, because base cards at least make you feel like you're getting something. I did get a hit last night. I got the Oswald dude, the Yankee Oswald guy, uh, blue autograph. Definitely does not cover that spot. Now, again, in my safari hunting, I'm not looking at each break individually. Oh, did you make your money back in the break? I'm looking at the entire hunt, the long-term hunt. I am still hunting Tops Update Chrome. I'll also say I will grade the Oswald. When it comes in, there's no reason to sell that raw or sell it fast. So it'll get put into the submission. It'll get graded and hopefully it'll chase his little career. And it hopefully does well sometime. Um, so now it's night two of the, of the safari. And I'm debating whether I go in some more Donruss. Um, I did really well with my $85 hunt, or do I go in more update? Normally, I would do update for a couple of cases. I normally don't do a hit and miss on, on a you know, case and leave. I'm also trying to be aware of, you know, I've got a budget coming in. I'm looking at draft next week and prism football this month. So this is a tough month to kind of keep the uh, card hunting going. So as of the time of this video, I am planning to move forward on either one, either the Donruss or the um, update. And I'll have an update coming out in a day or two of that break. Um, when these cards come in, I will, you know, share the mail days as I can. But again, no rush. We're not in a rush to sell. I'm just documenting the cost, what was chased, what the hits were. We'll match it up to some mail days. And we'll watch the progression as we uh, send these cards out for sailing, for sale, sailing, for grading, and for sale. <coughs> Thanks again for joining. Hope you enjoy Card Hunter.